Here we are at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Kimmick, and this is our annual Bats for the Brave Bath Crash in honor of Veterans Day. And simultaneously across the country, we're crashing the bathrooms of veterans and giving back to them for all the service they've given to us. Yeah, we're really excited about this. In about 30 seconds, we're gonna meet our veteran, Mr. Kimmich. He was uh, in the US Army, he was a sergeant, and we're really excited to be able to do this. We're doing this across the nation Let's simultaneously go. Let's go with it. other home improvement companies. And this is a great way for us to give back. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go meet Mr. Kimmich. Good morning, Mr. Kimmich. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm Vince Nardo with Reborn Bath Solutions. This is Anthony. Hey, Anthony. How you doing? First of all, we want to thank you for your service and all you've done for our country. And in honor of that, we'd like to take care of a bathroom in your home and make it brand new today. That's so cool. I'm so excited and thank you guys for spending all this time and effort. Come on in, let's get to work. Let's go in and see awesome. here. Want to go see the bathroom? Let's go see the bathroom we're going to do today. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Kimmich. My name is Seth Nardo. Huh? Very, very happy to be here today, and once again, thank you for your service protecting our country. So what I want to do is I want to find out what you're hoping to improve in this bathroom, what you're not happy and satisfied with right now with this current setup. So why don't you tell me what you don't like about this? Well, first of all, it was made in 1902, I think. It's so old. Wow. But uh, no, seriously. But when we get older, we're going to move down to this bedroom down here. Okay. And, we, we, need, and we need a bathtub, and that's why we bought this model, because it has a bedroom and a bathtub. But when you get older, you can't step into mm -hmm. that. It's too high. And it's so, totally claustrophobic. Yeah. I could never get in there. You can't? No. I'm, I need it's open. It's too tight, yes. Yeah, I need to be able to walk in yep. with a walker if necessary. Is it hard to step over this tub? Oh, I've never been in there. It really? freaks me out. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a low threshold shower pan. Cool. It's only going to be about two inches tall. We're going to put in a couple grab bars, a seat you can sit on when you're showering if you need, a rain shower head, a handheld, and then a beautiful frameless shower door. Perfect. That is so neat. That's, That's kind of like some, I'm so excited. It's going to be so great. Neat. Once Perfect. again, thank you so much. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. I'm going to go tell the guys, let's get started. We'll be done in a few hours. Cool. We'll be able to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> We're back everybody and as the guys are setting up to get ready to crash Mr. Kimmick's bath, we do like to get to know our veteran a little bit more. Mr. Kimmick, you were in Vietnam, is my understanding? Yeah. And uh, would you tell us a little bit about your medals? We'd like to hear about how you got involved with the service. Well, what happened is I was going to college, I decided to take a, a semester off. And when you do that, you get drafted. And so I got drafted in 66, I got sent to Fort Hood, Texas for a year. And then they decided to send me overseas to Vietnam. And I got sent way out into the mountains of Vietnam in a, in a little place called Pleiku. And after about seven months, I got sent back to the base camp. The first sergeant loved me. And I was sort of like a radar O'Reilly back there. But it was more dangerous back there because out in the field, we had um, a, a company of Marines around us. And in the base camp, we didn't. It felt like I really helped my, my company and um, and as far as you know the uniform um, I don't know if it's still like that but anytime on the right sleeve if there's a patch that means that they were in combat okay like this was my unit when I was so old iron size Fort Hood. you were involved in in Fort Hood that was in Texas what is this one here that's I was an expert shooter with a rifle so I got to know for that these are just the unit citations, they're present citations that they give to the unit. Then these are just, it says Brave Cannons, it was the group that we were with, and this shows that we were in artillery. So it was fun, it was a life-changing um, time in my life, and even to this day, every morning when I wake up, because most of the stuff happened at night in the Vietnam, every morning I just thank God for another day. I just appreciate life so much. And again, what you guys are doing today, it just it just touches my heart. I've hardly ever been thanked for doing anything. Um, and when we were coming back from the service, it was a controversial war. People would spit at us and you know, yell and say, baby killer. And, and it was hard. And it wasn't until recently that people just started saying thank you. Then you guys are doing what you're doing. Oh, incredible. Yeah. We appreciate you. We appreciate your service and everything you did. We really do. Well, thank, thank you. you. Really.
Oh, me? Wow! <laughs>